Hi, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 7.6, fraction multiplication. The essential question for this lesson is, how do you multiply fractions? Now, go ahead and open up in your GoMath workbooks to lesson 7.6, found on page 155, and let's get started. Now, let's take a look at question number two. The directions say to find the product and to write the product in simplest form. Well, for question number two, they give us the whole number three times the fraction one six. Now remember, if they give us a whole number, we need to first of all turn that whole number into a fraction. So I'm going to take my whole number three, and I'm going to rewrite that now as three over one. So we're going to go ahead and write that as three over one times the fraction one six. So once again, what I've done is I've turned my whole number three into the fraction three over one. Now my next step is this. We're going to now multiply numerator times numerator. So we're going to multiply 3 times 1. And when you multiply 3 times 1, that's going to give you the whole number 3. Now, once I've multiplied those numerators together, I'm now going to go ahead and multiply my denominators. So I'm going to multiply 1 times 6. And I know that 1 times 6 is going to give me 6. So the product of 3 times 1 6 is going to be 3 6. Now remember, the direction said to write the product in simplest form. What I know is if I have 3 6, I can still divide both a 3 and a 6 by the factor 3. They both share that common factor. And when I divide 3 by 3, that's going to give me a 1. So I'm going to go ahead and make 1 my numerator. And I know that when I divide 6 by 3, that's going to give me a 2. So I'm going to write down 2 as my denominator. So the product of 3 times the fraction 1 6 in simplest form is the fraction 1 half. So I'm going to go ahead and circle that, and we now have our product in its simplest form. Now let's take a look at question number 6. Once again, our job is to find the product and to write that product in simplest form. Now for question 6, we have the fraction 4 fifths times the fraction 3 eighths. What I notice is both of our numbers are already in fraction form. So what that means is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start to multiply. And I'm first of all going to multiply my two numerators. So I'm going to multiply the 4 times the 3. Remember, it's straight across numerator times numerator. Well, I know that 4 times 3 is going to give me 12. So I'm going to go ahead and write down 12 as my numerator. Now that I've multiplied the two numerators, I'm now going to multiply the denominators together. So I'm going to multiply my 5 times my 8. And once again, it's straight across denominator times denominator. And I know that 5 times 8 is going to give me 40. So what I know at this point is the fraction 4 fifths times the fraction 3 eighths is going to give me a product of 12 fortieths. But remember, our job is to write that product in its simplest form. And, and what I know is both 12 and 40 share a common factor. And the common factor that both 12 and 40 share is, is a 4. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to divide both our 12 and our 40 by 4. Now, I know that 12 divided by 4 is going to give me 3. So I'm going to go ahead and write 3 as my numerator. And I know that when I divide 40 by 4, that's going to give me 10. So I'm going to write down 10 as my denominator. So what that tells me is 4 fifths times 3 eighths is going to give me a product of 3 tenths in simplest form. So we're going to go ahead and circle that, and we have our answer. Now let's take a look at question number 10. Once again, our job is to find the product and to write that product in its simplest form. Well, for number 10, I have the fraction 3 fourths times the fraction 1 third. And what I notice is both of my numbers are already in fraction form. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to begin to multiply. My first step, once again, is to multiply numerator times numerator. So once again, straight across, we're going to multiply 3 times 1. I know that 3 times 1 is going to give me 3, so I'm going to go ahead and write 3 down as my numerator. Now my next step is to multiply my denominators together. So once again, straight across, denominator times denominator, I know that 4 times 3 is going to give me 12, so I'm going to go ahead and write down 12 as my denominator. So what that tells me is 3 fourths times 1 third is going to give me a product of 3 twelfths. But remember, our job is to write the product in simplest form. And what I know is both a 3 and a 12 share a common factor. And that common factor that a 3 and a 12 share is going to be a 3. 
So I'm going to go ahead and divide both my 3 and my 12 by 3. And what I know is 3 divided by 3 is going to give me 1. So I'm going to go ahead and write my numerator down as a 1. And I know that 12 divided by 3 is going to give me 4. So I'm going to go ahead and write down my 4 as the denominator. So that tells me that 3 fourths times 1 third is going to give me the fraction 1 fourth as my product in its simplest form. Now let's take a look at question number 12. Question 12 says to find the product and to write that product in simplest form. Well for question 12 the word problem says in the pet show three-eighths of the pets are dogs. Of the dogs two-thirds have long hair. What fraction of the pets are dogs with long hair? So what I know is this. I know that in the pet show three-eighths of the pets are dogs. So three-eighths of the entire set of pets are dogs. And of the dogs, two-thirds of those have long hair. So what I need to do is, the question says, what fraction of the pets are dogs with long hair? So I need to find two-thirds of the three-eighths of the pets that are dogs. So my problem becomes two-thirds of three-eighths. Well, remember, when I see that little word of, that little word of just represents multiplication. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this. So what I know is I have two-thirds times the fraction three-eighths. Now, both of my numbers are in fraction form, two-thirds and three-eighths. So I'm going to go ahead and begin to multiply numerator times numerator. So remember, straight across. So two times three, and two times three is going to give me six as my numerator. Now I'm going to go ahead and multiply my denominator. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 8. Remember, straight across, denominator times denominator. And 3 times 8 is going to give me 24. So I'm going to go ahead and write down 24 as my denominator. But now, once again, the directions say, write the product in simplest form. And what I know is both 6 and 24 share a common factor. And the common factor that both 6 and 24 share is going to be a 6. I can divide both those numbers by 6. I know that 6 divided by 6 is going to give me 1, so I'm going to go ahead and write down 1 as my numerator. And I know that 24 divided by 6 is going to give me 4, so I'm going to go ahead and write down 4 as my denominator. So that tells me that 1 fourth of the pets are dogs with long hair. So we're going to go ahead and circle that 1 fourth, and we have our final answer in simplest form. Now, let's take a look at question number 14. It's an algebra problem, and the directions say to evaluate for the given value of the variable. And remember, a variable is just a letter that stands for a number. Well, for question 14, they give us a problem t, and that's our variable. So t times the fraction 3 fourths, and they tell us it's for t equaling the fraction 8 ninths. Well, what I know is this. I know that our t, the variable, represents the number 8 ninths. Now what we need to do is we're going to replace the t in the expression with our fraction 8 ninths. So let's go ahead and rewrite that expression. So in place of our t, we're going to go ahead and write down the fraction 8 ninths. So we have our 8 ninths, and it'll be 8 ninths times the fraction 3 fourths. And now our job is to go ahead and solve to find the product. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, since they're both in fraction form, and I'm going to multiply numerator times numerator. So straight across, I'm going to multiply 8 times 3, and I know that 8 times 3 is going to give us 24. So I'm going to go ahead and write down 24 as my numerator. Now my next step is to multiply denominator times denominator. So straight across, 9 times 4 is going to give me 36. So I'm going to go ahead and write down 36 as my denominator. Now, once again, I know that 8 ninths times 3 fourths is going to give me a product of 24 36. But the problem is, this fraction is not in simplest form. I know that 24 and 36 both share a common factor that we can divide by. And the greatest common factor they share that we can divide by would be a 12. So I'm going to go ahead and divide both those numbers by 12. Well, I know that 24 divided by 12 is going to give me 2. So I'm going to go ahead and write down 2 as my numerator. And I also know that 36 divided by 12 is going to give me 3. So I'm going to write down 3 as my denominator. So I now know that 8 ninths 
times 3 fourths is going to give me the fraction 2 thirds in simplest form. And we have now evaluated for the given value of the variable. Now let's take a look at question number 17. It's one of our real world problem solving questions and it says, Jason ran 5 sevenths of the distance around the school track. Sarah ran 4 fifths of Jason's distance. What fraction of the total distance around the track did Sarah run? So what we know is this. We know that Jason ran 5 sevenths of the distance around the school track. Sarah ran 4 fifths of Jason's distance. Our job is to find the fraction of the total distance around the track that Sarah ran. So our problem becomes we have to find 4 fifths of the 5 sevenths. Now remember, once again, that little word of just represents multiplication. So our problem is 4 fifths times 5 sevenths. Now once again, when I look at my two numbers, I notice that they're already both in fraction form. So to multiply those two fractions, I'm going to start with my numerators. So I'm going to multiply the 4 times the 5. And I know that 4 times 5 is going to give me 20. So I'm going to write that 20 down as my numerator. Now I'm going to go ahead and multiply my denominators together. So I'm going to multiply the 5 times the 7. And I know that 5 times 7 is going to give me 35. So I know that 4 fifths times 5 sevenths is going to give me a product of 20 35ths. The problem is that fraction is not in simplest form. I know that both 20 and 35 share a common factor, and the common factor that we can divide both 20 and 35 by is a 5. So let's go ahead and simplify that fraction. I know that 20 divided by 5 is going to give me a 4. So I'm going to write down 4 as my numerator, and I also know that 35 divided by 5 is going to give me a 7, so I'm going to write down 7 as my denominator. So what that tells me is, Sarah ran 4 sevenths of the total distance around the track. So I know that 4 fifths times 5 sevenths is going to give me an answer of 4 sevenths in its simplest form. Now let's take a look at question number 18. It's another one of our real world problem solving questions. And number 18 says, a group of students attend a math club. Half of the students are boys and four ninths of the boys have brown eyes. What fraction of the group are boys with brown eyes? Well, what we know is this. Half of the students are boys, and four-ninths of the boys have brown eyes. So our job is to find what fraction of the group are boys with brown eyes. So our problem becomes we have to find four-ninths of the half of the students that are boys. So four-ninths of one-half. And remember, once again, that of means to multiply. So I'm going to rewrite that as 4 ninths times the fraction 1 half. What I notice is, once again, both of my numbers are already in fraction form. So I'm going to go ahead and, go, go ahead and begin to multiply. I'm going to start with my numerator, so I'm going to multiply straight across. 4 times 1 is going to give me 4. So my numerator is going to be a 4. Now I'm going to focus on my denominators, and I know that 9 times 2 is going to give me 18. So I'm going to go ahead and write down 18 as my denominator. Well, what I know is 4 ninths times 1 half gives me a product of 4 eighteenths. However, I know that I can still divide or simplify 4 eighteenths. They're both even numbers, so I know that any time I have two even numbers, I can always divide by 2. So I'm going to go ahead and divide both the 4 and the 18 by 2, and when I do that, I know that 4 divided by 2 is going to give me 2, so I'm going to write down 2 as my numerator. And I know that 18 divided by 2 is going to give me 9, so I'm going to write down 9 as my denominator. So that tells me that 4 ninths times 1 half gives me a product of 2 ninths in its simplest form. So that tells me that 2 ninths of the group are going to be boys with brown eyes. Now your homework for tonight will be to complete question number one and question number two, as well as numbers three through six found in your GoMath workbook on page 156. Don't forget, somewhere on your homework page I want you to assess yourself. Do you feel like you're number one a novice, number two an apprentice, number three a practitioner, or number four an expert? Don't forget, your homework for tonight will be to complete question number one and question number two, as well as numbers three through six found in your GoMath workbook on page 156. We hope you have a great evening and we look forward to seeing you in class tomorrow.